Hey there YouTube, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. I hope your week is off to a good start. Uh, sorry I didn't get a video out for you this weekend or I didn't do one the latter part of last week either. Um, Saturday was college football. Um, a lot of games. I just was lazy around here, watched a little bit of football and then Sunday I went down to Pensacola. So oops, didn't get it done. Sorry about that. Today I want to talk about the mo my most important factor on a raw vegan lifestyle. I have to throw that in there, mine, you know, just what I consider the most important factor on a raw vegan lifestyle. Uh, guys, I got a whole lot of videos here on YouTube. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd go down and hit that subscribe button now and uh, maybe come back and check out some more of my content, some more of my videos. I got a lot, not a lot, a lot. I'm not a big recipe guy, but I got a good number of recipes. I got some playlists here. You might actually find a tidbit or two that might help you. Um, you know, I keep it pretty simple. I've talked about this a million times, so for probably people that have followed me a good bit, this isn't going to be any surprises. Um, I keep this whole lifestyle simple, and that's how I'm always going to do it. I've just not, I've never in the seven and a half years of doing this have got up, caught up in that whole convoluted, you know, discussing things to, to infinity and, oh, you know, worrying about every single little detail and, oh my God, well, can we eat this? Can you do this? Are we getting enough of this? Blah, 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 blah. I just eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. I try to always pay attention to my body. I always try to listen to my body. But even that, when I say talking about how I feel, I take that a little bit with a grain of salt because kind of that kind of woo-woo thing about, yeah, man, just eat, eat how you feel. It, it does have to be tempered a little bit with a little bit of education. You know, I have read some books. I have done some studying on this subject. So I've mixed you know, some in, some sol what I consider to be solid information, but it, it's processed, it's judged by how I feel. Always has been, always will be. Um, there's one thing out there that I hear all the time, and I think, you know, I just, I want to say, like I say, I try to be really careful the way I word things on this channel, so, but got, number one, just mainly, I don't want to sound like some of those condescending assholes out there that know everything. It's like that. I love, don't you love, I mean, there's not a lot of information about this raw vegan lifestyle. I love when people preach like a fire and brimstone preacher, like they know, they know, they know, they know. No, you don't. So, but, um, there's this thing, there's this assertion, and I see this all the time, you know, people, people have gotten fooled into this, that they're supposed to feel shitty for, for a long period of time. Um, this never-ending detox. Well, you got to go through the bad before you get to the good. And to a certain extent, that can be right. Now, me personally, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, deal with a lot of detox because I guess the rate at which I went from you know, consuming animal products to going vegan to being raw, I did it at a, such a pace that it just didn't cause me a whole lot of detox. But even if somebody jumps in cold turkey, detox is not a never ending thing. You know, after a certain amount of time, if you're doing, you know, if you're doing this thing, if you're eating raw for three, four weeks, a month, two months, three months, and you're still trying to hold on to that, well, I'm having, oh, this is just detox. No, you're probably doing it wrong. You should not start a raw food diet, a raw vegan lifestyle, and feel bad doing it for three months. And like I say, there's probably, let me just say as a disclaimer, there's probably an exception to that. There's probably some sort of condition that people, that people could have. There's probably, like I say, just any number of exceptions, but as the rule, I would say that. You don't go, like if you go raw vegan today, three months from now, you shouldn't be feeling shitty on this lifestyle and still just be blaming it. Well, you're just having detox. That's just kind of like, you know, you're not really doing the work with yourself. That doesn't really sound right, or that's not that real clear. It's like you're just kind of fooling yourself when you're doing like that, or you're telling, you're, you're parroting what other people have said. And it, at that point, the point I'm trying to get at is if you're still feeling detox, if you're not feeling good from this lifestyle two, three, four months into it, then you need to change your approach. And thinking that it's detox is just going to be it's just going to slow you down because you're just going to blame it on detox. It's not your approach. It's not that you need to do something a little bit different. 
It's just that, no, I'm never ending detox. I hate those words. I hate detox. I hate detox. I hate healing. Not that I don't believe the body detoxes, not that our body won't heal from living a lifestyle like that, but it's just these little woo-woo, you know, it's always healing detox, healing detox, healing detox. <laughs> Annoys me. And a lot of these a lot of the reason people are not feeling good, yeah, I got some notes. I always tape a little bit of notes to my uh, tripod. A lot of the reason that people still feel bad two, three months later, they have the bloating, things are not working for them, are these just in insane combinations. Just these insane combinations just so you can stay raw. And I'm not like that's something else i'm not a fanatic about you know i get i've had people call me oh well you can't mix this with that i'm not a stickler when it comes to okay you can't combine this with this i do use basic principles and i do follow general food combining but some of this stuff i just see people just like they just want to be fully raw and they're just eating anything raw in their universe just to be able to get there and some of these combinations they, it's these weird combos that are um, that are giving you this bloating, that are making you feel bad, that's maybe leading you to believe like, well, I'm just going through the detox to get there. I mean, I'll see something like where, and and listen, this is not, this is not, this is repeat, this is not to make fun of anybody because they don't know. I see this a lot with newbies. Um, and they'll have like a plate and they'll be all proud and I'm not going to be, and don't be that person. You know, if somebody's doing something wrong out there, you know, like half the time I don't even say anything. I might actually help them to say something, but definitely don't go making fun of them or jumping in like, oh, you're stupid doing this. I see that with uh, people doing that with newbies a lot. And you know what you know when you know it. But I'll see these plates where somebody will have like, uh, I don't know, like a high water content fruit and a green bell pepper, and some nuts, and a carrot, and a tomato. In other words, like this stuff ain't got no relation to each other. They're just like, okay, I'm a raw food eater now. I'm gonna eat this, 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 and this. So that's something that would probably, and like I say, don't go fanatic about it, but you can Google, and I would say Google it. Don't, don't, you know, you can learn things on your own through Google. Go Google a food combining chart for raw vegan, for the raw vegan lifestyle. Look at three or four of them. See what makes sense to you and experiment from there. You're going to find, I would say, follow combinations as closely as possible, but you're going to find little circumstances where, you know, certain combinations, while maybe, while maybe not ideal or not, you know, they're not going to hurt you. Like for instance, I have people every once in a while go nuts if they see me adding any fat to fruit. I've got a couple of recipes, well, I've got, yeah, I've got a couple of recipes with mango where I'll put tahini in there or where I'll put coconut in there. I don't do that very often. So that's what I'm getting at. Not being fanatic, but still following that stuff pretty closely because when you have these abombo combos in your stomach, of course it's going to cause um, bloating. Um, how, how, does the, how does the food digest? That's the biggest thing for me. I always like to feel light. I don't ever like to feel like I have things sitting in my stomach. And you know, day by day, you know, I'm as regular as a clock, a um, couple of times a day. I always feel good, plenty of energy, but, but even more so than having plenty of energy, it's all about how I feel in my digestive tract. Listen, I listen to me. I've made this a personal journey. I've made this journey about me. It's not about outside, like I've learned how to learn this thing by myself. I've learned how to process this thing. You learn how you work. Don't, you're your best expert. There's, you know, this whole expert thing. Sometimes I know I get worked up about that. There's, nobody's really an expert out there. There's a few people that have written a few books that I'm impressed by. But the, for the most part, most of the information, most of the content we see coming out on this lifestyle is not by any expert that has any credentials as an expert. So, you know, don't, don't totally put yourself in the hands of somebody else because, oh, I haven't done a raw vegan lifestyle before. Well, you know what? You're not that far behind the rest of us because there's not a whole lot of history on it. There's not a whole lot of information on it. There's not a whole lot of uh, research on it. So all I'm saying there is I'm not saying don't, you know, don't read, don't watch videos, don't take stuff from other people. Just don't put people up on a pedestal.
You know, why or do you why do you think all these people on just because somebody's got a camera and they do YouTube, they're not smarter than you. They're not smarter than you. So uh, anyhow, that is just how um, that's the most important factor for me, how I feel. And I'm never, 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 never going to change what I'm doing until my body tells me to. You know, and like I say, I just want to one last time before I finish this video here. I don't want that to sound too woo-woo. There is enough education going in there and there's enough study um, from credible sources that I balance it with that. But in the end, it always goes back to how I feel. And if I keep feeling better and better and better year after year, I'm not going to change all that much. So anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again this week. Peace.